Welcome to Ender Club Spring 2017. Here we'll be showing ablation of a residual segment after mucosectomy in a patient with neoplastic Barrett's. A 63 year old patient following resection. ESD in Barrett's carcinoma. A low risk lesion, as you can see. And the approach involves ablating the residual biopsy confirmed non dysplastic residual Barrett's segment, which is quite short. That's what Stefan Grott will now be demonstrating. Here we've got a good view of a couple of serrated projections from the Z-line, where there is histological evidence of Barrett's esophagus, which we are now planning to treat. We want to ablate it using the Barrett system. So we're just preparing the mucosa and introducing a spraying catheter here. And now we've got ACC loaded here and we're cleaning the mucosa with it, so as to get the best contact area possible, with as little mucus as possible on it. We also have a 4mm distancing cap, and we can now treat this area here quite locally. Okay. This is our table with the armory, so to speak, that we have. Here we have the express catheter, or previously the Halo 360, for longer lesions that may be circular. It can ablate the mucosa circularly all around. And you can relocate it step by step from top to bottom and reinflate it repeatedly so that you can achieve ablation of very long segments. Here we have the so called channel catheter, which could be introduced via the working channel. That would be one option for today. It lets you treat small lesions really in a very targeted way. And then these are the focal devices with which you can press up onto the wall and give a site like that targeted treatment. There's the 60, 90, and the ultra for very large areas. So now this is the easy position that I start from at the 12 o'clock position at the top. And I apply the catheter and with the large wheel press it against the wall a bit and suction the air out so that the mucosa is well attached. And I have my foot switch that I use to do the first ablation. And as soon as I get the signal I do a second ablation here. The technique is called the double-double technique. That means we burn twice each time and then clean the mucosa and then burn the region off twice again. Now we finished the first round, and you can clearly see the ablation effect that's gone all the way around. And here we are moving on to cleaning. And it's so important in my view to take your time here and really clean properly. And scrape off here, until really all of the burnt tissue is taken away. Then I thoroughly rinse it clean, and go over it again in the second round. Now we are through the second round of the double-double round. And you can see this typical brownish epithelium that comes down or the burned epithelium and what it looks like. And we've caught the transition with the Z-line quite well.